Hi Leo, happy October 2020. This is your October 2020 tarot reading and I want to get right on into it. Right before we do, don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. It gets the videos out there for others to see. So, and I want to have a look at what we can see for October 2020 in your love lives. We have the chariot. I see you overcoming uh, um, a bit of a triumph in love. Um, some difficulties that you've been having in certain love relationships or when it comes to opening up to love. Some of you guys may have been wanting, you know, maybe a victory in a particular love connection or in a particular love situation you could be seeing that come to pass, feeling like that's coming to pass. I feel like it's gonna be showing up in in more of a way of feeling victorious, but this victory happens because there there is a try like an overcoming or a stepping over something that may have felt like it was it would have been impossible for you to step over. You know what I mean? So there's a victory here, Leo. Overcoming. It could even be a move for some of you guys as well. Oh. <laughs> All right. So more on this cherry energy, we've got the five of air and the knight of pentacles. Um, I think that there may have been some setbacks in love that you're just overcoming you know so whether this is a distance whether this is you know tough words whether this is tough experiences that you've been wanting to overcome whatever it is that you've been kind of asking for and praying to be triumphant over in regards to a love connection or in regards to the way you relate to people in love you're overcoming it okay they're like you can choose which one you want to overcome okay so Strong energy of victory here in love, which is always extremely beautiful. What do we have next? We have the Ten of Air and we have Death. So this is an end to um, struggling with st stressful love situations, okay? So anything in love relationships or in love situations that are overly stressful, and that are more stressful than they need to be there is an end to that i see here okay which is really good so i do, i definitely i definitely see see you and feel like you are definitely very happy about this like this is definitely really good news for you but you really need to know that um there is something like a tough end or a tough situation or maybe even a betrayal a legal situation that is finalizing and that you're moving out of you're also putting to bed defeatism or feeling defeated, okay? So a situation that left you feeling defeated, you're moving away from or moving away from those thoughts and beliefs that maybe might have kept you in situations that made you feel kind of, um, made you feel defeated. So we have the hermit and this is going within looking within when it comes to love or looking within when it comes to situations. Um, I think that this involves a lot, well, not I think, I know, that this involves a lot of internal um, self-searching, okay? So you're definitely um, doing a lot of inner work and looking within and doing a lot of soul searching and this soul searching is what leads you to this. Some of you guys may even discover that you actually like being alone or you like this time of soul searching because you're seeing now the positive benefits of it because there's a really strong transformation occurring here because of going within and um you know also choosing to put an end to something but mainly going within okay now what's the last thing we have here we have the seven of water so a little bit of confusion here leo I definitely feel like some of you guys could be kind of confused about maybe a particular love situation, a particular person, 
Um, there is a little bit of confusion here. Now, it's not anything to really worry about with the Seven of Water. It's This is not a bad card, okay? This is not even bad energy. It's just things kind of being up in air, maybe not being sure necessarily how you feel about a particular situation or a particular person. Or maybe you're maybe you're not sure about maybe you're not sure about how they feel about you. Uh, maybe this person is wondering about. Sorry, you guys. I just want to adjust this. Maybe this person is wondering about maybe how you feel towards them. Like there is a little bit of um, of wondering that I see happening here that I don't know, Leo, if you're aware of, or I I don't know if that will clarify things for you because i feel like whatever the situation is it it feels like it's something that is important to you and it means a lot to you but i for some reason i just feel like you you have a hard time um trusting in the situation and maybe that's what another reason why it's coming up as the the seven of cups because the confusion as much as it is like a possibly a possibly a very confusing situation um and it's you know it's not your fault if something is deceptive which i'm not i'm not necessarily seeing a deceptive situation here but it feels like you know it's maybe it's not just this person that's confusing in the situation maybe a, confu a conversation needs to be had clarity needs to be brought forth <clears throat> okay so I feel like you could be confused about whether or not um, someone possibly sees you as an empress or you could be confused by an empress, uh, possibly maybe about how you're feeling towards this empress or whatever. There's a little bit of like confusion here. Now it's a little bit of a trigger, sorry, an empress. Um, now there's a little bit of a trigger here. Um, or there's just kind of a little bit of like some inner child healing going on here. That's the best way, way for me to put it. It's less of a trigger and more of inner child healing that's going on here. Okay, so, um, I'm gonna pull a, one more card just to summarize this. Now, I really feel like whatever the situation is here, I mean, you and this person probably really love each other, okay? <laughs> there's a lot of love in this situation. There's a lot of, uh, a, there's a very strong connection. Um, there's a lot of, um, you know, there's a lot of trust. There's a lot of, uh, like, there's, 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 there's a lot of love here, Leo. I mean, I can't deny the love here. So you got to find a way to work through this confusion or just let it pass or have a conversation. I feel like with the lovers, there is like a feeling, there is something that you or possibly even this other person, both of you guys may feel like there is a right way to go about this, but one or both of you are not necessarily taking the steps that are needing to be taken. Okay. So there is a little bit of confusion here, but don't worry about it too much. You just gotta trust. You have to trust. I feel like some of you guys have trust issues. And I feel like some of you guys may wonder if you can trust this person. But it's like, if you don't trust this person, then it's as good as you not being with them because it just doesn't matter. If you don't trust them, then what's the point of continuing in the connection or wondering all the time? So get clear, okay? So that's what I have for you guys for love. Now we're gonna shift into career and finances. Leo, I see that you are, you're very, the chariot shows up again here. So you're very focused on winning. And I just want you to know, Leo, that this month you're definitely going to win, especially if you're watching this video today and you're watching this reading for this month, um, for the sign, you know, expect a victory to come about for you. Okay. Expect, expect a really wonderful change or a really wonderful um, something that you ha were determined to do or determined to see to fruition coming to fruition okay and some of you guys may be like um, so confused as to how like this is even happening for you um, but some of you guys you may like be like well this is about time that this is happening but this is around something that has been very stressful 
Um, I think if if you have been, um, you know, working very stressfully or finding your work environment very stressful um, recently, then you may feel like you're overcoming that or you want to overcome that. Now, some of you guys, I don't think you're aware of just how strenuous and stressful your situation may be for you. While some of you guys, you know, you may be wanting to put it down now. And so now you're kind of maybe looking for what it is that you could change. Like some of you guys could even be um, like not knowing that you feel heavy and knowing that you feel not really like yourself and and now looking for a way to um, make you feel more like yourself, you know? So some of you guys may have felt like not really um, like Leo. Like you may have felt like off your game or kind of off and um you're kind of looking for that and you will be victorious in finding out maybe if there's a hidden stressor something that's overwhelming you that you you know maybe you can't understand why it's overwhelming you you're gonna be able to uncover even what that is if that's what you're looking for and and i think in uncovering it for some of you guys that is a victory in itself because uncovering it completely removes it because once it, the situation or the issue is found wow there, there could be a block here and once the block is found in in terms of career and finance you take off leo you know but there's something that's kind of maybe it's hidden that's a stressor or that's overwhelming that may need to go what else do we see here in career and finance for leo so we have the Knight of Wands reverse and the Ace of Wands reverse. Now, there is a potential opportunity for you to guys maybe to move forward in your career, to do something exciting, do something a little different. It's something that you're really going to love to do, Leo, and it's something that will be very exciting, but some of you guys may not um, take it up. So I just want to tell you that there is an opportunity here for expansion, for growth, for fun expansion and growth, really fun expansion and growth. And excitable like it's you know it's it's the sort of expansion and growth that kind of makes you feel more alive and inspires you in its own right and, and puts you on a whole new path and has you looking at life totally different but it could be coming in a little bit of a different package okay some of you guys you may be wanting something to happen very quickly and maybe maybe you're wanting a, an exciting change to happen very quickly in your career and your finances just a little bit more patience maybe what's needed and that will happen for you okay so whether you're the person who's getting the opportunity now maybe can't really see it or you're waiting for the opportunity to come and you're really excited for it to come you know just know that it's coming there is this need the reason why it's showing up is there's this need to surrender okay so surrender to um opportunities that come to you okay because this showing up here means some of you guys are at risk of missing it well it's not really a risk don't really jump up and down when i say at risk of missing it right so some of you guys could be at risk of missing this situation or you could be wanting it to happen and being like oh when is it going to happen but either way whether you're missing it because you're snobbing it or you're missing it because you're or you're wanting it to come and so you're kind of like out of your element in a way sort of kind of right whether you're doing whichever one you're doing um this this section comes up in the reading to tell you to just surrender to what's going on right now in your career situation and in in your financial situation just surrender okay <clears throat> and just kind of let things happen all right so what is the fight? This might have wanted to come up. The Wheel of Fortune reversed. Leo. Okay. Okay. So maybe they want to talk a little more about this, this section here. I'm not going to brush over that. It's not like I was brushing over it. I just think... Um, Leo, some of you guys have trouble seeing the positive opportunities that are right in front of you. Or not, not necessarily you have trouble. But you just... You you may not see an opportunity that's in front of your face, okay? And it it could be because you know maybe you kind of talk yourself out of opportunities, or you could procrastinate something along those lines. It feels like it's something, or it's a 
the way in which you miss this once again don't get up in arms about the things i'm saying don't get up in arms about the way i'm saying something just listen to the message please okay so this way of being is wanting to be purged from your life and it's a very hard death okay yeah so it's a very hard death so there's a need to just relax surrender and allow and and that may take strength for you to surrender and allow for something or to just surrender and allow for a change that could be coming over you in a way or could be happening and it could feel like oh this is too soon surrender and allow for it okay because it feels exciting leo so it feels like whatever this is it's definitely exciting you know but maybe you may need to surrender and allow a little bit oh no they're not drilling right now in my house <laughs> That's okay, my God. See, the hangman shows up again. Surrender and allow. This could be a wish fulfilled. Okay, so it probably is a wish fulfilled, especially if they're doing my yard. Okay, so <laughs> let's have a look at the final um, section we have for career and finances. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we have the temperance. So I feel like your career and finances are good this month, Leo. Like very good. And I think you really need to accept that. I think that this is showing up so that you can accept that your career and finances are fine. Because some of you guys may feel like it's not fine and or you know, you may have you may be going through like a transformation or a change in a way that could be um, that could be causing yes, it's causing changes to happen in your in your career, yes, but it's also like changes that you don't really need to do anything for they're gonna kind of level out on their own and so when i see temperance show up in any area of anyone's life i know that what this card is saying is that just relax just chill everything's working itself out everything will work out perfectly for you there's no need to worry there's no need to stress everything's working out perfectly and i'm even looking at the fish here and fishes symbolize abundance for me so there is an angel also looking over your abundance. There's a lot of protection over your finances. Some of you guys could be worried about financial loss or, or some of you guys could be feeling not abundant. With the Empress showing up here reverse, you could be feeling like you're not abundant or you're not being taken care of or you know, you're not being nurtured or there's not enough resources, but you're, it's, you could just trust it. It's being taken care of, the magician and the fool. It's being taken care of, Leo. Okay, so um, I'm gonna get a card for October 2020 for my Leo loves. Let's have a look. Underlying energy is Camellia Destiny. Okay, it's not in the stars to hold our destiny, but in ourselves. That's beautiful. And that's a quote by William Shakespeare. Here we have Nasturtium. Guess what the first word is, you guys? I kid you not. It, the first word is victory and conquest, Leo. Let's go. So he who controls others may be powerful, but he who has mastered himself is mightier still. Lao Tzu. Beautiful. Nasturtium. Now, what a beautiful... And this is a great flower. It's a great flower for confidence. Okay, some of you guys, maybe you want to buy a bouquet. All right, great flower for confidence. Great flower for victory and, and overcoming your opponents. <laughs> Let even the humblest of flowers remind you that the greatest victories you experience may be the small ones no one else ever sees. Conquering those inner voices of self-doubt is the first step forward in your personal growth. Jesus, is that right on point, Leo? I mean, nobody can deny that that is right on point. All right, Leo. So that's all I have to say to you. I'm the spiritual Barbie once again. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Yeah. And I really appreciate you guys liking, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. And I'm sure the people who get to see the video as a result are going to be very appreciative as well in their own sense. So go ahead and do your part, okay, Leo? Um, so as always, if you'd like to work with me personally, my information is in the description bar down below. Hit the link and it takes you right through it. Um, 
and as well as my other social medias are down there as well. You should check those out. And last but not least, I am working on a Patreon. Stay tuned for the announcements for those. So looking forward for the month of October 2020. I wish you guys the best. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll talk to you guys next time.